These things. Where do they come from? From all of us. From what we do to him. Can you stop it? I don't know. But he's my brother. And I would die for him. This was his fate. Red may have been strong and skilled, but against the awesome power of nature, he was merely a man. He never stood a chance. All around, things just kept getting worse. But I heard that Guardian Ratha had survived and returned to Hekola Island. I went there to see Red's old monster again. Then, of course, that's when I met you. You were given Red's Kinship Stone, and now a Rathalos Egg. This is destiny. This is the legendary monster, Ray's Wing Ratha, the monster with the wings of ruin. It's said that a beat of its wings can bring about waves of destruction. Many people believe there's a connection between the strange happenings and the wings of ruin. The pits are appearing everywhere, and they're emitting a strange light. What's this whole idea of forming kinship with monsters? How do you control them? It's not about control. Monsters help riders of their own will. And the bonds between monsters and riders are just like your bond with Tsukino. Shining in the night. What kind of power does Ratha really have? Why are all of these pits appearing? And who are those people who want to take Ratha for themselves? All I have are questions. If there's worry or doubt in your voice, Ratha will become anxious too. He needs to know that you will protect him no matter what. I can sense the flames of his life force weakening. The burden of such great power is too much for his body to bear. Can you hear it? Riders can bond with monsters. Surely you can groove with fellow humans. They have the power of kinship. They're friends. They're monsties. Humans carry the strength of everyone they meet. That makes them strong. My friends here taught me that. I believe in the strength of humanity.
you are the hero the lady foretold. Perhaps not. It can't be too late. It can't be. Oh. Nevertheless, I am here to guide you on your journey. My name is Chris Bell. There are some things you want to know. This world is filled with incredible magic, but also powerful danger. <gasps> How adorable. They won't get past us. This is a real fight. Matthias! Hmm? Quickly! You'll need to be prepared. Here, the forces of good and evil fight to control the past, present, and future. Gather what allies you can, no matter where you may find them. All of our abilities will be tested. Time to use your new skills! We'll need to uncover our enemy's secrets and work together to defeat them. If we're successful, the choices you make along the way will rewrite the future. Know the past and determine the fate of the world. I hope you're ready for this. Jack, everybody thinks you're me. We have to face the facts here. We aren't ever gonna be the same again. Why are you only speaking to me and not the others? I bent over backwards trying to keep this family together, but what can I do with this? This is mental. Dad! You've been playing me. Anything. This is the next frontier. Now show them what you're made of. Welcome 
to the centre of the world. Great Britain's mighty capital, London. This country is incredible. I will become a lawyer. I have to. So then, let us unravel this mystery and discover what events led to this curious murder. Who are you? Herlock Sholmes. You must have heard of me. We must solve this case, Narahodo-san. Let us engage in the art of deduction, Mr. Narahodo. Well, what have we here? It would seem the truth is now tantalizingly close. The defense demands its right to a cross-examination. Objection! Your testimony completely contradicts the facts. Objection! My lord, with all due respect, this is an outrage! The giants have come to Midgard, and you have been chosen by the gods to protect this realm. But your first task is to find some new clothes that aren't dismal. Drofty. Your tribe's journey starts in the wilderness. Hunt down pets, gather rare resources, and explore the untamed world. Once you've plundered all you can carry, return to your village and use those resources to forge Viking-worthy gear. You must protect the seed of Yggdrasil at all costs, or this world and everything in it will be destroyed forever. So take heed. The hell things rise when the sun sets. Destroy these dark spirits before they destroy the seed. Each victorious night makes way for a new day to venture into new lands, build to greater heights, and face fiercer creatures. And with great risk comes great rewards. But be careful, you're of little use to Midgard squashed by a troll. Craft legendary weapons, build deadly defenses, and grow the strength of your tribe, because those giants are on their way. And it's time for us to end their path of destruction. Let's show them our might is greater than their height. As the saying goes, Valhalla can wait! Supplies, and most of all, we need a fucking plan. We'll take our next step when the time is right. For today, let's focus on getting our strength back. Somewhere to sleep would be a start. I'm only really interested in one thing. Where is Tatiana? That ghost you're chasing. I don't know what to tell you. Before we enter the lion's den, I need to triple check everything is ready. Sniper, are you in position? Affirmative. I took the roof of an abandoned building with a pretty little view of the entire power plant. Igor, take a rad reading, will you? 3.6. Not great. Not terrible. I'm voice actor Stephen Kelly, and I'll be your guide in this gameplay preview of The Forgotten City. So far, we've built our custom character and discovered the ruins of an ancient Roman city littered with these eerie golden statues. But this mysterious portal keeps calling to us, so let's see where it takes us.
Here we are 2,000 years in the past, in the year 65 AD. This ancient Roman fellow appears to be a living version of the golden statue we saw in the future. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing? Well, he sounds oddly familiar, but let's just skip by him for now. The game is a murder mystery set in an ancient Roman city. All of its inhabitants live in fear of the Golden Rule, a mysterious curse which means if even one person commits a sin, every last one of them will die, turned into golden statues. You. Of course, since we've just come from the future where we saw that the city is full of golden statues, we know for certain that someone is going to break the Golden Rule. Ah, a fellow traveler from a faraway land. Our job if we're up to it, is to solve the ancient mystery of who's behind this. And since the game has multiple endings, the fate of the city is entirely in our hands. If you've ever wondered what it might be like to walk among ancient Romans, you're in for a treat. The developers worked with a couple of historical consultants, experts on ancient Roman history and archaeology, to depict an ancient Roman city as authentically as possible. They've captured the art, architecture, costumes, and customs of life in a Roman city in the first century AD. Fresh me, huh? For example, here are the public bathrooms, complete with cleaning sticks for communal use. Let's put that back down, shall we? But this is no walking simulator, so let's start a quest. During your investigation, you'll interrogate a community of unique suspects, each with their own personalities, motivations, secrets, relationships, and quests. Of course, we'll soon discover we're in a Groundhog Day-style time loop, which we can cleverly exploit by talking to them, winding back time, then talking to them again and using knowledge you couldn't possibly have had the first time round. But for now, Thank let's you. talk to Decius. You there! I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but notice that fine bow you're carrying. No idea how you managed to get your hands on it, especially in the light of our dear old magistrate's ban. But I'm impressed. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. I have no use for a wooden bow myself. But I would like to propose a joint business venture of sorts. Decius is an unscrupulous Roman merchant. Right now, he's asking us to help him get a mythical golden bow from the shrine of the goddess Diana by replacing it with this fake substitute. He definitely seems a little shady, but getting this bow seems worth the risk. Let's move towards Diana's shrine. As some of you may know, the goddess Diana, who the Greeks called Artemis, was the goddess of the hunt and famously carried a golden bow. And we are going to steal that bow. It seems that some hornets have decided to make a nest here. Hornets are dangerous, of course, but we'll be in and out of here so quickly it probably won't be a problem. So, Decius said we need to extinguish the braziers before taking the bow. Let's do that. And now, we can safely take the bow. That was a little too easy. Now, back to Decius. Is that you, partner? Do you have the bow? Wonderful. Just go ahead and slide it under the door for me and I'll unlock it for you. A little bit slow, aren't you? Yes, I locked you in. And until you give me my bow, you're gonna stay in there, like Tantalus in Tartarus. <laughs> no, technically, I never said that. I said, if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, infinite wealth is still infinite. It's hardly my fault if you can't tell the difference between a hypothetical and a promise now, is it? Oh, I do love a good loophole. You're just gonna have to take your chances, I'm afraid. The bow, now. And don't even think about giving me the fake one. I'll recognize my own handiwork. Hmm. I would reconsider my position quickly if I were you. I'm not sure if you noticed, but you're stuck in there with a hornet's nest, and they can be rather aggressive to all intruders. You know, some say it takes 27 hornet stings to kill a man, but I always wondered how anyone could have known that. 
Let's find out how many it takes to kill a woman, shall we? Ah, okay. Curse this sudden but inevitable betrayal. We are now locked in the temple with an angry hornet's nest. We need to think about how to find a way out. Let's follow the voice's instructions. Now apparently this bow turns anything organic into gold, so... Yes! It worked! This looks like our only way out. Sorry for busting up your shrine, Diana. In case you missed it, The Forgotten City is a reimagining of a mod from a popular fantasy game. In fact, it was the first mod in history to win a Writer's Guild Award, and was downloaded more than three million times. So, the original modder, Nick Pierce, assembled a game studio, Modern Storyteller, to redevelop it into the standalone game you're currently seeing. Alright, it seems we can't get through this way. But again, if this bow turns organic matter into gold, let's try shooting the layer of algae on top of the water. Perfect. In the Forgotten City, you'll alternate between phases of investigation, where you'll talk to people and try to unearth their secrets, and exploration phases, asking you to solve puzzles like this one. Of course, puzzles and gameplay mechanics aren't the only new additions to the Forgotten City. Everything about the mod has been leveled up. There's a slew of new quests with multiple solutions, unexpected new twists and turns, and four different all-new endings. If you like the mod, you're going to love the standalone game. Looks like we've escaped the cave and found our way into an abandoned palace. Who knows what is awaiting us next? But that is for another time. Thank you so much for watching this preview. The Forgotten City is coming this July to PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PS4, PS5, and Switch. If you'd like to be notified when it's out, please wishlist on Steam. I hope you have fun unraveling the mysteries of the Forgotten City. Entering cluster 13, behave, or I'll have you fucking recycled. You have shown an aptitude for applying lethal solutions to conflicted situations. We wish to test your abilities by giving you a special assignment. Success, and you'll be given a chance at earning your freedom. Kill me?